to talk about the consolidate function that's available to you in Excel. I live on a farm and we have a number of horses. So let's say we have four horses and for each horse we have, uh, for each quarter we have feed expense, we have the vet or, or health um, expenses and the farrier expense which is like getting their feet done. And so we want to total up for uh, everybody how much the horse each, the total of all the four horses are costing us. So now um, these are all a little bit different because some get more work than others and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our um, first sheet and we're going to have our um, cursor in A1. We're going to go to the data tab and we're going to hit the consolidate here on your data tools. Okay, and so right now it says sum and that's what we want, but you have, uh, you have other options down the list of what if you want to count or average or whatever, but we'll go with sum. And now what we're going to do, now what we're going to do is we're going to click this little red arrow, but you could also consolidate other files into one file. But what we're going to do is just consolidate sheets into one file, or sheets into one sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my little red arrow here on the reference, and I'm going to go to horse one, and I'm going to select from A1 to E4 here for all of the expenses for this horse. And I'm going to go back to my little red arrow and I'm going to click add. And then I'm going to click uh, do this all over again for the next three horses. Now, once we have all our four horses added here, what you need to do is you may need to, um, our headings, we have headings on the top row and we have headings in the left column. So we're going to select the top row and left columns. And this is a pretty big important step. If you go create a link to the source data, your data will have links and it's much better this way. So let's go OK and click on OK. So there you have. Now, if you wanted to do totals here, you could do totals across the bottom. And there you go. And the other feature that you have here, so you can break it down too. You can click on, um, you can see what um, all the uh, farrier fees have been. Um, you can see what the feed fees have been. You can see all of your different fee your features from all of your different books. So that's how you use the consolidate function. Please subscribe. I love questions. Send me questions. I love Excel questions. Thank you.